Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com and crazy times we are living in. I will try to do my part to give you a little entertainment a few times a week, maybe three times a week still, on YouTube uh, to give you something new. And a lot of us are stuck at home with not much to do. So today, a little more entertainment I will bring to you. Uh, probably the first of what will be two Timex videos in the near term. Today I'm going to be showing you a 34mm uh, Timex mechanical hand wind Marlin, uh, just like the Silver Marlin that came out, I think, like two years ago or so. Uh, but this guy is green, green dial, really cool green dial. Had it on up, up on Instagram recently, so, you know, check me out on Instagram uh, so you can see stuff that uh, happens before the video. Uh, and um, it's in a gold case. It's a really cool, elegant-looking dress watch. 34mm, uh, so a great size. And then there'll be another video coming out, I think... I don't know, maybe within a week or so, or maybe a little more in the week, I have three Timex autos I want to show you that are bringing into the store. A, another green dial, a um, kind of like a two-tonish one, and a uh, black dial that also has a PVD case. So a lot of cool stuff to look at. Timex is doing a ton of stuff, um, you know, throwbacks to the past. So I have, am sporting my U1. I feel like it's an apocalypse time, so... You know, this is a watch that will survive anything, so why not go with the U1 and uh, the Islander Turtle. Um, I guess a note on Islanders, production is starting up again. I expect more of the Aviators or the Pilot Watches uh, probably within the next couple of weeks. And um, the other restocks and new styles to follow on sometime in April and May. Um, you know, part of the world trade was ground to a halt, and now it's starting up again. And now our side of things is starting to grind to a halt. Again, crazy times. So uh, let's, um, let's check out the Timex. So Timex popped out the Marlin, I said, a couple of years ago. It was a silver dial. I'll try to, try to throw a picture up. Silver dial and, uh, you know, similar numbers and markers. It was a runaway smash hit. It was released exclusively first through one of their um, retailers, and then it became available to everybody. Uh, there was a black dial, then there was um, the, the watch on a mesh bracelet. Um, there's been a couple of iterations, and then about a year ago or so, the automatic versions came out. Um, and now today, I'm sharing with you this cool green dial, which as far as I know, I don't think anybody else has except for Timex and myself. Um, I could be wrong, but I believe that's the way it's going. Um, but check it out. It really is beautiful. Lovely green dial. Of course, St. Patrick's Day um, was just this past Tuesday, uh, so maybe I'm a little late. But like I said, there will be another green Timex coming in auto version, um, hopefully within a week or so. So here we go. Uh, it's the Timex 34mm Marlin Mechanical Hand Wine Watch with green dial and uh, gold-plated case. Model number, if you're interested, is TW2U01700. Such complicated model numbers. But anyway... So it is a 1960s reissue, of course. As you know, you know it's 60s due to the size. It's 34 millimeters in diameter. It's 10 and a half thick to a period correct acrylic crystal. It is 41 on lug tip to lug tip. That's 41. Most watches that we wear nowadays are 41 in diameter or larger. So this is 41 on the tip to tip. Um, you know, has sports conventional, you know, like you would expect, again, period correct lugs from the day. A solid snap-on case back. Um, I had mentioned acrylic crystal. 18 millimeter strap comes in a brown strap with a matching yellow gold buckle or plated buckle, yellow gold plated case, um, a solid steel case back. The strap is fitted with quick release pins i probably shouldn't have done it because it's going to come off and now i gotta put it back on with my gloves on but it's really nice if you want to swap it for a uh, a different strap it makes it does make strap changes look at that it makes strap changes really easy so the watch runs on a uh, it's a chinese movement i'm pretty sure i've actually never popped the back of one of these open to see what it is but some kind of seagull or uh, you know equivalent hand wind movement so to wind the watch you turn the crown clockwise and then eventually this one actually was pretty much wound, but it'll stop soon. It's, it hits a stop. And you want to, once it hits, once you have a little bit of resistance, you want to stop. Um, it'll run for about 40 hours or so. So pretty much every morning you go to wear it, you do want to wind it. Or even if you don't wear it, uh, you'll want to wind it up. Set the time, pull it out. It hacks. Huh? Isn't that great? Change the time. 
push back in and the watch starts up again the price is um 199 and it is a really cool looking watch there is no room to speak of so all i guess i need all that remains to be done is to pop it on the wrist see how she looks so here it is on my six and three quarter inch wrist obviously it's going to look fine below or above the wrist bone it simply does not matter it is a small enough size i figure you know my wrist six and three quarters this will easily go down to six inch wrist and there i am on the strap plenty of room to go down plenty of room to go up just such an elegant fine looking watch and the green is such an eye catcher i really love it pretty phenomenal so in closing um just to get an idea of the size differential you know this is the islander turtle and it completely completely encompasses the marlin look at that amazing again you know this is a watch i wear comfortably every day this is a watch i can easily wear comfortably but it's amazing where sizes of watches have gone from the 60s to today you could see why a lot of people today keep crying for watches that maybe they aren't 34 but there's a big call today for 36 38 sub 40 millimeter watch or so maybe they're coming you know Again, this is kind of like a throwback, so I'm not sure if this is a sign of things to come, but what Timex has really honed in on, it seems, is reviving a lot of the stuff from the olden days, the Marlin, the Q. There's going to be lots of uh, Q varieties coming out, uh, hopefully this summer, if uh, things keep progressing normally. Um, I'll finish up there. This has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you the Timex Marlin with the green dial. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Questions or comments, put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.